If you're new to my channel, my name is Tiana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. Today, I have a drugstore haul. I have skincare and makeup items, and I mentioned in a previous video that I am, that I was, going to be doing a drugstore haul. And honestly, after I filmed that video, I really noticed a lot of my products were coming very low and very close to empty. So I figured I would go to the drugstore and pick up a few things that I did need and needed to replace. I do want to mention that for the next few videos, it is going to be skincare and makeup based, but I do have clothing videos coming soon. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. So let's get into this video. So in total, I spent about $160 Canadian and I got some really good staple products that I was honestly missing from my collection. And what I do want to say is typically, I will only purchase something like new that I've never tried before if it's on sale or if I get like a perk or if it's in a kit, something like that. And if let's say the moisturizer that I want isn't on sale but I've tried it before, I'll pay full price. That's just kind of how my mindset is because I don't want to pay full price for something if I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So. Let's start off with some skincare. I purchased three skincare items and I honestly really did need to replenish my skincare items. So the first thing I picked up was the CeraVe Renewing Essay Lotion. This is for extremely dry, rough, and bumpy skin. I picked this up because I thought that this was going to be a face moisturizer, but I was reading reviews and people say that you can use it as a face moisturizer but it broke some out and some people found it too heavy as a face moisturizer but actually one of my body moisturizers is running out so I'm actually keeping this at my makeup vanity here for whenever I do need a moisturizer at least I have one I picked it up for $15 you get eight fluid ounces in here you don't need a lot of it now I have not tried this out for a long time, but I've tried this out a few times and I absolutely love it. I do have one other brand of moisturizer for your body that I do find a lot less expensive. It's like $5 when it's on sale or I think it's like nine or $10 if it's not, but I do have a moisturizer that I do find I can kind of dupe this with. If you want to see that video, let me know. But if you've wanted to try CeraVe, this is a really, really nice moisturizer. I do find that it is good on my hands. My hands are very, very dry, but I do find it works well. So I do keep it here if I ever need a moisturizer. The next item I got is actually the Simple to Kind Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. This is clean beauty, cruelty free, all skin types, no harsh chemicals. It's a 12 hour moisturization. And on here it says no artificial color, fragrance, harsh chemicals, no drying alcohol, vegan, cruelty free, it says everything here. I love the new packaging of this. I did purchase this before. I purchased this, I don't know, maybe about four months ago and I'm running very, very, very low. You will be seeing it in my February empty. This is $15 Canadian. And I'm telling you, this has been such a game changer for my skin this winter. It has helped my skin so much. I typically would get very, very flaky skin near my eyebrows and near my nose and near my lips. Don't get me wrong, I do still have dry skin because obviously if I go for a walk outside, it can be very, very cold and I do need something to hydrate my skin. But overall, this has really, really, really helped. If you have like combination to dry skin and if you have sensitive skin and you're looking for an affordable moisturizer that's going to last you quite a few months that you can use day and night, this is a really, really good way to go. I love the new packaging that they did. The old one, you were not able to take the cap off, but now you can, which I appreciate. You also have this little top here. There's no fragrance, which I love. There's no dyes. It's not sticky. It goes into your skin very, very nicely. So I decided to pick this up because like I said, I only have maybe a week's worth left of the other one. I do plan on picking up the Milk Makeup Moisturizer when I do a Sephora haul, but I just figured I might as well pick up my go-to staple moisturizer. For $15, I'm telling you, this is so, so good. And I have tried so many moisturizers, so many. And that is like the first one that I've ever repurchased for my face because I'm telling you, my face just feels great. The next is actually a repurchase and I have repurchased this 
four times now. It's the Nivea Q10 Power Anti-Wrinkle Plus Firming Eye Cream. Now, what I want to say is eye cream, I know some people like it and some people just say use your regular moisturizer because it can't really do anything. I know no matter what, I'm going to get under eye wrinkles, I get that, it's age. Well, you know, age will do that to you. But I have been using an under eye cream since the age of 15 and what I have really noticed is it just really helps my under eyes for brightening, for moisturizing, I find makeup goes on better, I find the appearance better, and I just really, really love to use eye cream. Not so much in the fact that I'm using it to prevent wrinkles, more so that it just makes me feel better, and it's a step in my skincare routine that I absolutely love to do. So I know it's not for everybody, but I really do like eye cream, and if you're young, I would highly recommend trying to find an affordable eye cream. So anyway, I have purchased this four times since I was 15 because of how much I like it. Now this one I do want to do a dedicated review on because there is some things that I do want to mention and I don't want to go all in depth in this video. But what I do want to mention is I've picked this up four times. I absolutely loved it. I have actually used some of my moisturizer just around my eye area. And while it worked, it just wasn't the same as this. I've had a Garnier, an Olay, a Tarte, and this one. And I've got to say, I've bought this four times, and I really do enjoy this. I've heard that e.l.f. actually has an eye cream, so it's probably a little bit more affordable. Eye creams can be very, very expensive. This I picked up on sale for $17, and this was the least expensive that I've seen at my drugstore. So I would be curious on trying out the one from e.l.f., but the thing that I look for in an eye cream is like non-fragrance, nice and light and something that's moisturizing, and this does it. So I picked this up four times. Honestly, if you're looking for like a good, affordable eye cream that's gonna last a long time, that's gonna moisturize under your eyes, help brighten them, this is good. If you wanna see a dedicated video where I go more in depth about this, let me know because I would love to do that. Now that we've talked about skincare, let's go into some of the makeup products that I picked up. So the first thing I picked up was actually like a Quo sponge, and I really needed a sponge, and I don't know, I really needed a new makeup sponge because I like using brushes and my fingers, but the only thing is sometimes I really do need that sponge to help blend things in. So I picked this up from Quo. Yes, it's dirty. I haven't washed it yet. Let's just get over that. But anyway, the Quo sponges are actually really, really nice. I find that they absorb a good amount of product, but not too much. They're not too firm, which is really good, but they're not too soft. They have different ones and different shapes, and this was $8. But what I would recommend is to wait until they go on sale. And honestly, I do like this one for like my face, but when it comes to my under eyes, I typically like one that's a little bit more flat to be able to get in there so i have to pinch this in a certain way to like get in there properly but i did pick up a new makeup sponge the next thing here is the setting spray this is the nyx dewy finish setting spray it's a long lasting setting spray and i needed a new setting spray because my urban decay one literally has i think one more use left and i'm not purchasing from sephora for I don't know, maybe another month or two, and I seen this for $12, and I thought, well, $12 or $25, because the mini milk makeup one was $25, and I didn't want to purchase a new Urban Decay one, because spoiler alert, I may have purchased some makeup from Urban Decay, not going to say what I picked up, but you will see that in the video very soon. So anyway, I just decided to get this because it was a dewy finish and it was $12, so I found that pretty affordable because I know this is going to last me a really long time. And I've gotta say, it's actually very, very nice. I put it on today and I feel like it's really nice. I like it. It's not like too dewy where I feel like I look oily and it's not too shiny. I like the mister on it. The mister is a little bit intense, so you do want to hold it out a little bit further than you typically would, but I do really like it, honestly, and I think that this is something that I would repurchase again because I put it on yesterday on my face that had no makeup just to see how my face would look and feel, and it felt great. I put it on today, 
and my face feels great so for 12 bucks i think that's great and i'll soon have my urban decay one for when i want it to last all day and i'll have this one as like a little backup for kind of day-to-day -day makeup actually if we're being honest today i didn't even plan on doing a full face i honestly just wanted a little bit of concealer a little bit of like cream eyeshadow a little bit of brows and mascara but then i just decided we're going in for a full face so yeah let's talk about a new primer that i picked up this is the catrice prime and fine aqua fresh fresh it up moisturizing with bamboo water wow that was a lot i was really interested in this product because i really like my smashbox photo finish primer but i just want something a little bit more hydrating the color of this i was like okay it's gonna be hydrating and then it said aqua fresh and i was like that sounds even more hydrating then it said with bamboo water and i was like i need to try that because coconut water and coconut doesn't do well on my skin it breaks me out and i know that bamboo is pretty good because i know that there are bamboo beads in the clinique um exfoliating cleanser i have so my skin's okay with bamboo and i gotta tell you i tried this just on bare skin one day just to see how it would feel and it felt really, really nice. Now, I haven't tried it with makeup. I will try it with makeup as soon as my little Smashbox one is done. But I got this for $9. And I'll be honest, I was looking for like the least expensive primer at the drugstore because I thought I don't want to pick up a really expensive primer and it not work for my skin. But so far, I haven't broken out. It felt nice on my face. So I'm excited to see how this looks under makeup. If I don't like it under makeup, I can just wear it on no makeup days as something hydrating. But this one here was the least expensive and I decided to give it a shot. And I've never tried Catrice before, so I am excited about this. I can't wait. I actually wanted to try the CoverGirl primer, but it wasn't there. I went to one drugstore and they had this clearance bin. And they had so many things I wanted to pick up that was on clearance. Like they had e.l.f. lipsticks that looked like the colors I wanted. L'Oreal lipsticks, the packaging on those was like, oh my goodness, I really, really want them. And I think it would have been like five or six dollars for the lipsticks. And they had so many like really nice things on clearance, but I already picked up quite a bit of makeup and I ordered some makeup and I trying to use that makeup. So anyway, the next time I go out um, for drugstore makeup, I do want to check out the Rexall see how it is and I also want to go there because they do have elf there too where they don't have elf at the shoppers drug mart so the next time I go out for products or makeup I'll probably go to the Rexall just to see because I feel like elf would have more affordable products and I feel like I could check out their clearance section because they typically have a good clearance section but the last item I picked up is the best eyeliner I have tried. I loved the e.l.f. I think it was an eye pencil they called it or an eye marker. I loved the ColourPop eyeliner. I think it was like the BFF eyeliner. But this is the best eyeliner I have tried. This is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible the super slim liquid eyeliner i was hesitant on picking this up because this was the most expensive thing i picked up and it was 17 dollars but I'm gonna tell you something. If you want a precise line, this will give you a precise line. The end on it is super long, which is nice because you're able to control where your tip is going. It's a felt tip, which I personally like. I feel like that is a lot better on my eyes. The color is really nice and black, and you don't even have to like build it up. It just goes on really nice and black. And I have been wearing this for a while now and it's not smudging. And not to mention, it has this really nice, like, it's not a grip, but it kind of dips in and it's a nice texture to hold. I'm going to tell you this right now. This is probably something that I am going to repurchase. I was so impressed with this that I know I'm going to repurchase this because of how much I like it. So if you're looking for a good eyeliner, it's expensive for the drugstore, but... It works so, so well. And I am not the best at eyeliner, but I feel like I did a pretty good job with it. So anyway, this one here, I really, really, really enjoy. I actually have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow, 
which I love, which I am going to repurchase, and I could see myself repurchasing this. I feel like when it comes to drugstore, there are certain brands where if it's a new product, I can pick it up and be comfortable spending that money, and then there's other companies where it's like, I don't know because I didn't have good experience. I think it would be fun to make a video where I would share like my least favorite drugstore brands and my most favorite drugstore brand. With all makeup, it can be a hit or miss, but I honestly feel more comfortable picking something up from L'Oreal than like Rimmel London, let's say. So anyway, I think that would be a fun video to film, but that is everything. Those are all the makeup products that I got. I spent $160, but again, a lot of it was replacements. Like I didn't have a liner, I didn't have a face moisturizer, I didn't have an eye cream, I don't have this or these two. I didn't have any of this. The only item that I feel like I could have done without was the CeraVe moisturizer, but I mean, other than that, everything else is what I needed, so I just replenished my collection. But if you are new here, I do wanna mention that I do empty videos every single month where I talk about the empty products, whether it be lifestyle products, hair care, skin care, makeup, the ones that I finished throughout the month, I talk about them. I also wanna mention that I am doing a project pan these are the items behind me that I'm either trying to hit pan on or use up. I am very cautious when it comes to purchasing new products because I always like to use up what I have before purchasing new. So if you're into that content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload next. Leave me a comment down below if you have ever tried any of these products or if you want to. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.